Have you ever had the problem where you want to create a logo, a graphic, or an image for maybe your Facebook page or Instagram, but you didn't go to graphic design school, right? Maybe you don't know how to easily customize images and create beautiful looking graphics. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to use the website Canva to create beautiful images in minutes. So keep watching. On this channel, I teach entrepreneurs how to get more leads and sales using social media. So if you want more videos like that, be sure to go down below, subscribe, and then click that little bell notification so you're always notified of videos just like this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on my laptop and show you over the shoulder, step by simple step on exactly how to use Canva to create beautiful images. So follow me. Okay, so I'm on canva.com and I'm gonna include a link below in the description if you don't know how to get here. But basically, I'm inside my account. Now, the very first thing you wanna take notice is on the bottom of Canva, on your account, as you start creating images, they're gonna keep them there. So you can just click there and you can actually you know, make a copy if it's something that you do a lot. But what I wanna draw your attention to is that there's really two types of Canva, okay? There's free and then there's a paid version. Now, what I'm gonna walk you through in this entire tutorial is the free version. Okay, now you can do the paid version. It has a little bit more customization, but you can pretty much do most of it for free. So the very first thing you want to notice is at the very top, they have these templates for the different popular types of posts you may want to create. Now that's where I personally recommend starting. Okay, so if you're specifically wanting to create YouTube thumbnails, you'd want to click on here and that's going to bring you to the template to create beautiful YouTube thumbnails. If you have, you know, you, maybe you want to create a YouTube channel art, you can use this, a Facebook event. But for the, the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to click on Facebook post. And once it opens, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the creation of a Facebook post so I can share with you exactly how you would do this. So this post, let's imagine that I have a Facebook page and I want to post a positive quote, okay, or a positive message. What you can do is you can go, first off, you wanna choose the layout of this image. Okay, so for example, let's say it's more like a holiday card, a holiday greeting card. You can go ahead and click on there, okay? And it's gonna populate onto that editing page, okay? But let's say I wanna get rid of it. I would just click this little uh, delete there and you can delete the whole thing or you can delete parts of it. But let's say I wanna delete the whole thing and uh, choose another one. So let me just go down here and find a good one. Okay, so let's say I like this one. And as you can see, some say free, and then some are actually gonna charge you, okay? So this is totally free. Now let's say I like this. What you're notice is if you click on these little elements, you can either change the text, you can delete it. So let's say I don't like that and I'm gonna delete it, okay? But I like this circle. Well, it's very drag and drop with Canva, which is what I love. So you can basically just click one of the sides and then drag and it makes it bigger. Okay, so let's say I wanted to you know, put it right there. And let's say I wanted to change the color of that. Well, if you ever wanna change the color of an element, once it's selected, you just go up here, you click there, and you can either click the pre-selected colors or you can actually click here and change the color like that. Maybe you have a brand and your brand is using a specific color, well, you can use that in the, the image, okay? So let's say I like that. Now let's say I don't want these, these things right here, so I can delete those. But let's say I like this text, because I'm gonna create a quote. Okay, so let's say I wanna, the quote I wanna create is something like, um, you know, believe and you will achieve. So now what you can do is you can actually drag this to the middle, okay? And it will line up when those lines show up. If you can see that, that's the middle, okay? So you can make sure you're doing it in the middle. If I wanna arrange these texts in the middle, I can just click here and do that. Now let's say I wanna put this text in the circle. Well, what I can do is I can actually drag this, okay? Pretty big, like that, okay? And then what I can do is, because this text is behind this, to make it in front, I click there, and I'm gonna hit Arrange, and then Forward. Okay, so now the text is actually in the front. Now let's say I wanna change the text now because you, know, you can't really see it. What I would do is I would click this, 
and then let's say white. Okay, boom. And now let's say maybe it's a little too big. I can just go here, do text size, and then maybe do 48, okay, or 56. You know, I can play around with that. Okay, so now I'm liking how this is looking. But let's say I wanna add a background image, okay? So as you can see, I'm in the layouts tab, and this is gonna change the different layouts of this post. But let's say I go to elements, okay? Now they have all these different elements. Well, if I go to free photos and click that, it's gonna open up these free photos. Now you can type in a keyword. I did this earlier where I put in beach. And if you search that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show you free and paid images. Now most of these are actually free, okay? And they're beautiful images. So let's say I go through and I wanted a beach to be in the background. Well, I can go through and say, let's say I like this one. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna delete this yellow, okay? And then I wanna click that and now because it puts it on the front and I want it in the back, I'm just gonna go up here, hit arrange, hit back, and then hit it one more time so it goes all the way to the, to the back of it. And then you just wanna drag so it fills the entire image, okay, just like that. Now I can go in and I can look, and they also have in the elements, they don't just have free photos, they have all these different things. They can do grids. So for example, let's say you want a collage and you want like an image right next to the other one, you can actually click this one or this one right here and go through and it would change the layout. Let's say I want frames, okay, frames for my photo. You can go through in there. And if you like any of these, you just click and it will, it will add it. Shapes, okay, let's say I like this shape, I can click that and it will drop and then again, I can go up here and edit the middle color. And then if I want to change the outline color, I can do that, right? But let me undo that real quick and walk you through. Also, they have lines that you can add to it. They have illustrations, etc. okay? So you can really go through, let's say I want to add a, you know, an illustration, okay? And I want, I want to do, you know, an illustration and let's say I want a umbrella, right? So I go through and they have all these different umbrellas. So let's say I like this one, okay? I can click there and I'll drag that up, okay? And I can add that to the image, just like that. So they don't just have shapes, they don't just have backgrounds, they have you know, stock art and icons that you can make your pictures look really, really nice. Okay, if I go to the next thing, text, you know, again, I already added text because of the template, but you can add different fonts. Okay, let's say you like this one. I can click there and it's gonna add. Okay, and let me change the color so you can see it. Go to red. And now let me make this bigger. Okay, and as you can see, it's using it's using the template and the font that I actually selected. Okay, very cool. But I wanna get rid of that actually. Now it's looking really cool. Okay, background, you can do that. You know, if you just wanna change the type of background. Okay, so I can do that and it will change the background image. Very powerful. And then last but not least, if you go to uploads, you know, maybe you wanna upload your own image. Okay, like I have a picture right here. It will show it at the bottom. If I go here, okay, let's say I want that image to be a part of it. Well, I can put that image, you know, maybe up here. Okay, just like that, and then have it like that. Okay, so you can play, play around and upload your own. You know, maybe you don't see an icon. Well, you can go to Google Images and type in, you know, umbrella icon or umbrella PNG, which is a type of image that actually has the background removed. So you can just add it to your image and then really start to create a beautiful looking picture. So now you know exactly how to create beautiful graphics, logos, and images in minutes to use online. But how do you start using these images to generate leads for your business? Well, be sure to grab my free training audio, 17 ways to get leads today, either down below or head to garrettgetsresults.com forward slash 17 ways. On that free audio, I'm gonna walk you through 17 different ways to quickly and easily generate leads and all but one of the methods are totally free. So thanks so much for 
watching my friend if you like this tutorial be sure to click the like button below share it with your friends and any business partners and be sure to subscribe last but not least comment below what do you want me to help you with next I'm putting these videos out daily and I really want to help you get the results you want thanks so much for watching my friend and I will catch you on the next video